Okay, folks, uh, hello, welcome to the next uh, commentary. And look at this game I found. It's called Super Tory Boy, and it's available as a Flash game. This is, of course, a political game, but again, I feel sorry for the poor schmuck who had to... I feel sorry for the poor schmuck who actually had to program this. All right, now we're you can... This is what's the manifesto. Click anywhere in space. Okay, so basically this is a Mario-type clone, but it's set in... What I can only describe as like Britain on cuts, basically. And uh, yeah, this game. <laughs> God damn it. The thing is, you'd have to be into politics to know some of these jokes, but oh well. Okay, you could either play as David Cameron, I think you could play as uh, George Osborne, who is our current uh, Chancellor, uh, or you could play as Boris Johnson, the Mayor of London. All three are Tories. Okay, now let's just get on with this with the goofiest of the bunch. We'll play as Boris Johnson because he's a lovable he's a lovable goof even though he's a posh twat. So we're going to play now. Okay, as you can see, it looks a lot like Mario. It sounds like Mario. It pretty much is Mario. And if you don't know that logo, the thing is you'd have to be in British politics really to know some of the jokes. Especially by the way, folks, if you don't get the tube for the job center, the job center is a place in the UK where, like, they will advise, if you're unemployed, you can go there and they advise you how to find a new job, but with my previous experience, they have been terrible. Like, seriously, I know they're working, they're working to an extent, but how bad job center is in general, like, all they'll do is just sit there and just tell you, they'll just tell you, oh, you can't do that. Oh, you can't like do a certain job, or oh, you gotta work a certain amount of. You know, I'm going off on one now, and oh Jesus Christ! I only just noticed that Margaret Thatcher in the background. <laughs> Good God, that'll be in your nightmares for the rest of the week. As you can see, the money, the money grabbing thing in this game is a recurring theme. Of course, again, you have to be in British politics to get a lot of this. Thankfully, I am, and these are stuck. And again, like the copies, the flag of Mario. You know what? Should we play again? Okay. Uh, I think that was a bit short. We should play again. Okay, this time I'm going to play as the Prime Minister, David Cameron. Again, another posh twat we put in charge. Bravo. Okay, and uh, I'll explain. Never mind, I won't explain. Yes, I'll understand these jokes are political jokes. Solely due to the fact that, again, a lot of austerity measures have been taken out in Britain because we were overspending or we just were doing the right things to combat, to really combat our debt. So these guys thought the best idea would be an austerity measure, which is understandable enough, and I know I'm gonna get hate mail for that, but hey, it's a, but like, I understand it's a desperate time, and these guys came into power when I was in school. So, really, it did affect me, and anyone else of my generation, so they do the fact we'd come out of school, but because of the job cuts meant there were less jobs for anyone who's just come out of education. And like, they, and uh, of course, I'll, I'll admit something though. Like the squeeze the scrounger thing out the start of the video was, of course, a scrounger being uh, one of these people who just lives off benefits or, if you're American, uh, EBT, and they don't do anything to look for a job, essentially. But either way, like, I'm not sure how to really rate this game because, yeah, like, a bank venture. Yeah, by the way folks, a backbencher in the British Parliament is basically one of the people who has to support either the Prime Minister or the leader of the opposition party. It's quite complicated. Again, you'd need to be into it in order to actually understand. But we're going to have one last one now. Okay, we're going to play as George Osborne, the guy I truly hate in this whole lineup. Not because he's a Tory, not because he's the Chancellor, 
but because he's a smug twat who nobody loves. Not even his children. Yes, that is a harsh joke, but someone's going to do it. Yeah, I'm picking Boris Johnson's nose. Okay, let's get on with it. I'm just looking at the Big Ben. I'm just waiting for a bunch of guys and Guy Fawkes masks to show up. Alright, so we're going to play it now, and he's got the briefcase, which represents the... Which represents the, uh... I think it's the Chancellor's briefcase. It has been handed down from Chancellor to Chancellor for the last... 120 odd years, I think, in Britain. They have not changed it. The reason why, they cannot afford it. If you look at it in an actual picture, you could actually... And I just effed up. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Now I just remember what Bullington is. Uh, Bullington is... Is a very... Is actually like a boarding school. Bullington is basically where a majority of Tory leaders have come from. So, yeah, I can understand that joke. We're cutting libraries. Job center. I cannot go down that tube for some reason. But then again, I feel sorry for the poor schmuck who really had to program this game. Because you could just feel it in him. Like, he could do a lot with his... He could do a lot with his degree. Like, he could do a lot with this with his games development degree, but again, we live in a tough time where anything creative in a uni uh, won't get you anywhere. Like, no offense to any uni students doing anything creative. Oh well. And, uh, I wonder why I got this round. Okay, so... Yeah, that was about it, folks. I'd just like to say, for whoever made this game, like, congratulations, you did managed to put some like some political humor into it and make it understandable enough. And also the gameplay's not that bad either, even though it's just space bar. And that's it. But either way, I do like I do like games like this. That could be smart but fun at the same time. Either way, this has been the Football Wolf here or Access Wolf, depending on where you're watching this. And peace. <laughs>